After spending the morning at the waterhole, the cubs have retreated to the shade of the forest in the midday heat. At nine months old, the cubs should weigh over 110 pounds each. But with the lack of regular food, they're starting to look thin. While a fasting diet is normal for tigers, going too long between meals will take its toll in the long run. Even if they don't starve, a lack of food can make them more vulnerable to disease, injury, or infection. It's vital that Rana brings back food soon. By early afternoon, it's still too hot to contemplate hunting. While Rana enjoys these cool waters, the constant high summer temperatures and the fierce afternoon sun take their toll on the water holes themselves. Some ponds have almost completely dried up. For many animals, this provides a different opportunity. A wild boar and her piglets snuffle in the damp mud for grubs and other insects. Large grey babblers use the dusty ground to clean their feathers of parasites and excess oil. And red-rumped swallows collect mud to build their nests. As the water evaporates, it leaves a salty residue on the muddy surface. And this attracts a beautiful spectacle. Right now, just before the onset of the monsoon, common emigrant butterflies gather in their hundreds as they migrate between breeding sites. They're here to feast on the important nutrients and minerals found in the mud. Substances they don't get from their usual diet of nectar. These act like vitamins boosting the butterfly's health and increasing their reproductive success. They won't stay long. They're on the search for the best place to lay their eggs. But for now, this dry water hole provides everything they need. As the afternoon progresses, the heat gradually abates. Now cool and relaxed, Rana resumes her search for food. She knows there's prey grazing nearby. A Nilgai has joined the Chital deer. Nilgai are the largest antelope in Asia and at over 200 pounds, would make an ideal meal. In the forest, Rana's almost invisible. Her orange fur might seem bright and conspicuous to the human eye, but in the jungle, it's the perfect camouflage. The stripes help to break up her outline and the colours blend with patches of sunlight and shadow in the dappled afternoon light. And she has one more trick. Deer have excellent vision in low light, but the trade-off is that they can't discriminate between red and green. This colour blindness means Rana all but vanishes in a deer's eyes. 
they must rely on their acute sense of smell and incredible hearing to alert them to this danger. Rana approaches the herd downwind, so she can't be smelled. As long as she moves slowly and silently, hidden behind a tree, she's got a good chance. The Nilgai senses something. Failed again. Today just isn't her day. A chorus of alarm calls alerts everything within a hundred yards. Rana's blown her chance of catching anything here. The pressure of finding food for her hungry family is taking its toll. For an older female like Rana, all this exertion is even more exhausting. But while age may be catching up with her, it does bring a wealth of experience and the knowledge to adapt her stalking technique to suit the situation. As Rana continues her hunt for food, something else catches her attention. This time, it's not prey. Rana shares her territory with leopards. At 150 pounds, they're only half her size. Food is scarce enough. Rana isn't in the mood to share with another large predator. She will force the leopard to leave her territory. But before she can make a move, the leopard spots her and has a simple trick to get well out of reach. Climbing trees comes naturally to these agile felines. Pound for pound, leopards are the strongest of the big cats and are even able to drag their kills high into the branches. Rana's no slouch when it comes to climbing herself. With powerful leg muscles and sharp claws four inches long, Tigers are surprisingly adept in the trees. Still, Rana's far too heavy for the thin branches of the treetops. The leopard knows it's well out of harm's way. They mainly hunt by night, so this one will see out the daylight up in the branches out of trouble and resting comfortably. Sort of. For now, Rana leaves her mark on a nearby tree. It sends a message to the leopard and all in the forest. This is her territory and she's not going to share. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.